Okay, so a couple of days ago, I made a video about a new plugin that's going to be coming out in Unreal Engine 5.1 that's called the Live Link Face Importer. Now, usually for you to animate a meta human in Unreal Engine 4 or 5 using your iOS device, like an iPhone, in my case, an iPhone 12, you would typically need to connect iPhone to the same network of your computer. Now, with this plugin that's going to be available in 5.1, you no longer have to connect your iPhone to your computer. You can now record it offline. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. Now, I spent an entire day yesterday trying to get this to work. And I think, again, this is not in any documentation, so I don't even know if this is gonna be the actual way, but I think I got it to work. And basically, I just looked at that instruction that they have right here. I just kept reading it and reading it and reading it over and over and over again. It says, when imported, the CSV files containing the raw facial capture data that the Live Link Face app saves will become ready to use level sequences with Live Link data in them. So the last keyword there was Live Link. And if you didn't watch my previous video a couple of days ago, I did not try it like a live link. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my iPhone device because I'm gonna show you how this works from pretty much the beginning. I'm gonna go ahead and start recording my screen on my phone here and it's gonna pop up here shortly on your screen. So let me go ahead and set this up. All right, so now I have this live link app open. Now before, again, you would have to connect it to the internet, but with this method here, we do not have to do that whatsoever. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is go to settings and then I'm gonna turn on the record button. And now what I'll do is I'll press record right here. Hey, what's going on y'all? This is JS Films. Today we're gonna to be testing out the Live Link Face Importer in the new Unreal Engine 5.1. I'll go ahead and press stop. And now this is going to be recording and saving a .csv file inside my phone. So if I go to my drive, my files, and I'll go back to my takes right here, I'm gonna go to my number three. This is the new one we just imported or recorded. If I go to this my slate three name raw recorded right here, I will now send this via email because it's pretty small. It's only 630 kilobytes. All right, so I went ahead and downloaded the file from my email and it's the slate3name.raw.csv. So we'll go to edit, plugins, and we're gonna type in face importer. And now you can see right here, I already have it checked off. So that's good. I don't have to restart or anything. And then what I'll do is now I can just drag and drop that .csv file onto my project folder here, it doesn't matter where it goes. Now, I will go ahead and double click it and it's gonna open a new sequence similar to what I showed you in the previous video. Now, I will add my character here like I did in the previous video again. And then, whenever I was reading the live link, I decided to go ahead and treat this like a regular live link as it says in the instruction. So, typically, if you were to record facial animation using the iPhone app, live link wise, you would have to delete these control rigs. If not, it's not going to animate properly. Now, again, if you go click the MetaHuman and go to details, and this live link face subject, you are now going to see a drop down. And now you have two. Name name is my actual iPhone. But now you're going to see that there is a my slate number three. That is what we recorded offline and we imported into Unreal. So now I will go ahead and click that to select it. Now, if you look at my sequence here, nothing happens. And somebody commented, you know, go ahead and get out of it and come back in. It didn't work for me. And additionally, what I tried was adding a live link facial animation here. But again, that didn't work. So I went back to the basics. For you to record facial animation, you will have to simulate it. So that's what I did. Now, if I go to this three dotted line and press simulate, now, when I press play, you are going to see what we recorded offline on my iPhone, and it works perfectly. It's amazing. This works just like that now. Additionally, if I wanted the head rotation, simulate, press play, and now we have 
the neck rotations as well. And that's it. Again, I'm not sure if this is how it's supposed to work, but after tinkering with it for an entire day, I believe that this is how you're supposed to be using the new Unreal Engine 5.1 Live Link Face Importer. But that's pretty much it. If y'all learned something new today, please do like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers this year. Now, I'm sure there's going to be a lot more YouTubers who's going to be making a tutorial about this. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I love this new feature because you don't have to worry about connecting it to Wi-Fi or internet or anything like that. This is a very, very good addition. To be honest, this is probably the best plugin that's ever released in Unreal Engine 5 for me at least. If y'all have any questions, let me know and I'll see y'all later.